Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I do some lifestyle and beauty content on this channel. So if you're interested in that, you can subscribe if you'd like. And if you do like what you see in this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help this video get out there. So if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and let's get on with today's video. so first off i do want to start off by saying that i do apologize for the terrible lighting i'm used to my setup which is over there but i wasn't able to bring the light that i usually use um from that since it's with my mirror it's like it was like nearly impossible to bring it over here so i had to make do with what i had but anyways i know in my last video i did mention that i got into gaming recently and so when i was putting all of this together i didn't even think to record it so i thought i would just um show you guys my setup up and how everything came out and i thought it would be something nice to show since i worked really hard on it and it, a lot of effort was put into it not just by me but by my cousin's boyfriend as well he's actually the one who put my pc together and helped me out with picking out everything making sure everything was good and uh, yeah so i will stop rambling and let's get on with the video Alrighty, so disregard the printer in the corner i did use it for school um uh, this computer for school at one point um but now i don't since i'm finished with school so it just stays there until i find a different place to put it but anyways i have my alienware monitor in the middle it is their 25 inch and 240 hertz monitor um i did like it a lot I, I mean i still do it's really really nice it does perform really really well i do like the color of it it was one of the only monitors i liked that came in white it has also cool features like rgb on the stand of it and in the corner um with their little alien head logo i thought that was really cool and i like how the rgb hits the uh, my wall whenever i have it on but the only sad thing is that no one gets to see it but anyways it is really nice i do like it it can turn vertical it can go obviously horizontal like it is right now and i'm able to move it up and down and i'm also able to angle it which is really really convenient i mean i know i don't really go that in depth to moving it to to do all that but you know i do like the fact that it can do that i know if i ever look into getting another monitor i'm definitely getting another alienware one because they're very convenient and good quality but anyways uh next is my mouse pad this beautiful mouse pad is from razor i um it's the razor goliath uh mouse pad from their quartz collection i do like it a lot i thought the texture of gray was really nice and the fact that it has rgb around the edges is absolutely insane when everything's on like it so so cool and i also did get the mouse from razor as well it is their lance head wire mount wired mouse um i thought that was really cool um it does perform really nicely i do look into getting a wireless mouse but at the moment um this wired mouse will do just fine until i can afford you know a wireless mouse but anyways um i also do have my headset stand from razor as well if you notice i do have quite a few things from razor just because they're the only ones that i could find with this type of shade of pink that i was looking for at the time when i was getting everything so it's um that's why i got a lot of things from it it's also really good quality stuff so if you're ever interested you i definitely recommend these stuff and yeah moving on but yeah so this headset stand is from razor it has two usb ports in the front and one headphone jack in the side my headsets that you see here and hide in the back are from logitech they are the g733 a head um headphone Headphones, um the wireless headphones it has a, mic a detachable mic in the front and it also has rgb in the front that you can control through their software which is really cool and that's also something i forgot to mention with the razor stuff you can kind of synchronize all the lighting through their software which is really cool i have everything set to like a pink well um, like a hot pink i'll show you guys when i have everything on but it's so cool that i can synchronize everything okay so next up is my keyboard here it is from Corsair. It's their K65 mini keyboard in the bubblegum pop um, edition. I do have the plastic cover on it still just because um, really 
really particular about having dust inside of it. I just think it just protects it really nice. So, I, and I thought no harm, no foul. I mean, better keeping it in good condition. It does come with all white key um, keycaps. So if you did want to switch out the hot pink ones for any reason, it does come with the all white ones, which I thought was cool. This also has its own software um, that can you can adjust the lighting to, which is also really cool. So if you do have other Corsair products, you're able to have everything synchronized together as well. Okay, up next is my my Blue Yeti mic from um, Logitech now, I believe. It's um, a part of their Aurora collection, which is why it's in this beautiful pink color. I was surprised the, to the fact that they even have a pink mic. So once I saw this, I was like, I have to have it. It's so cute. It actually does perform well, especially for if you're just looking for a nice budget-friendly mic. This one's really, really nice. If this, I think this one, I'll have the, the link down below. I also have an alternate one that I was looking at too. I was either looking at this one or the blue snow, um, the blue snowball mic, which is also really good. I also have that link down below for you as well if you want other options, just in case if this one's too much. But yes, I am obsessed with the color, and I have no shame in saying majority of the reason why I wanted this was because of the color, honestly. <laughs> Alrighty, and in the back there, if you see, is my Nintendo Switch Pro controller. I did get that custom made in from etsy i'll have the link uh, i have the the link to the shop down below it's so pretty honestly i use it for fall guys whenever i play or any story based slime games that i i just prefer to use a controller for i also use it for my nintendo switch that i'll show you guys later it's so so cute the fact that i was able to get this nice pastel pink color with those little um the um uh, those little caps on top of it i i'm really blanking on what they're called but the yeah i thought it was really really cute that i was able to find that so yeah i'll have the link show i'll have the link down below they're able to like customize different things i was really able to get in detail with this down to the button so i thought that was really nice but yeah that is my controller that i use sometimes um and next is kind of the star of the show my pc is um and it's all all of its glory really uh, so this is my pc that my cousin's boyfriend helped me build i did get like a light baby pink case that i think i will switch to a white case later on eventually just because i feel like I think that will make the pink like details inside pop a little bit more. But anyways, I'll have all of the specs in the corner right here just cuz I probably won't remember any of them to list them right now, but I just thought it'd be easier to write it over there. But anyways, besides the point, I did get this little Hello Kitty Gamer Fungo Pop. I saw it on a YouTube video I, when I was looking for ideas of like how I wanted to go about this whole build. And I saw that um, someone put this in there and their PC and I was like, I am obsessed with it. And the fact that it's like a pink and white, I'm like, I have to get it. It's so cute. So yeah, I'll have that link down below as well. You can disregard the cable management. I mean, she gets a lot worse in the bottom. I don't think I'll show that just for to save myself some embarrassment um i tried my best that's all i'll say i mean i'm not i'm not a technology savvy person here i'm also not a very good impatient person when it comes to cables so i kind of did my best and you know we're gonna just you know go along with it and back here are my speakers i got off them i got them off of amazon they do the job really nicely i don't use them a lot because i use my headphones more often than not when i'm on here but when i do use them they do perform pretty well <clears throat> they're okay i mean if you're looking for better ones i know logitech has some really good options but if you're looking for nice budget friendly speakers these ones are really really cute and they're also white so i thought they went perfect with this theme that i have going on here and right in front of them i have my other funko pop and another little figurine that i've had since i was a kid i found the exact same one version of the one i have as a kid in a in a funko pop like the same character i know it's a part of the hello kitty and friends collection i just for the life of me cannot remember the name i have at least the funko pop pop link down below because i do not know where i got that little figurine from but it's kind of like more of a childhood memory for me that's why i thought it, i thought it would be cool to add in my pc setup my gaming setup i should say but yeah that's them hee <laughs> hee 
And lastly, this is my Nintendo Switch. I did get the Animal Crossing edition just because I'm obsessed with the color scheme with the pastel colors. And those in the corner are my extra Nintendo Switch controllers because I do have a lot of people who come over sometimes and we always like to play um, different games like Mario Party and Mario Kart and stuff like that. So I didn't want to, I don't like excluding people. So we have those. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed with this one. I thought it was cuter than getting the regular plain one since they cost the same. So I was like, why not? get the cute one with tom nook and timmy and tommy in the front like that's adorable and i've played animal crossing forever like since my nintendo ds stage because i've always been a nintendo girl growing up like i have my wii that doesn't get touched anymore but it's kind of there for you know nostalgic purposes but yeah i've always been a nintendo girl that's what got me into gaming really so yeah i thought that would be cute to get so yeah, this is my setup again in the daytime and I will also show you what it looks like at night. thank you guys for watching that kind of concludes today's video today i hope you enjoyed my setup i worked really hard on it so i hope you guys liked it and if you guys did please give this video a thumbs a thumbs up it does help with the youtube algorithm and stuff like that that's how my video gets out there and if you like what you see please subscribe and comment down below a pink heart if you guys made it all the way to the end uh, for this video and yeah um please leave any comments down below for any recommendations for what you want me to film next i do take your guys comments into consideration since you guys are the reason why i make these videos so yeah please leave any suggestions down below of anything you would like to see and let me know if you did enjoy this video so i can see if i can incorporate some gaming stuff into this channel because i know it's something i'm really really interested in so if you guys are too let me know down below but if you do have any other suggestions let me know as well um but yeah i guess i will stop rambling on for today's video um please again don't forget to like comment share subscribe all the nine yards if you guys liked it and thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye